Good morning, folks. Europe, the US, and China are faltering. There are systemic barriers to recovery and progress, and under the current paradigm, the only available solutions have recently been revealed as the underlying cause of the problem. Welcome to our modern day Titanic. YouTube channel Hyper Report concisely reports this topic daily. On to the news. Got two buoys in event mode off the north coast of Australia. Neither shows a large deviation and these are likely a non-issue. By now many of you are clamoring about Mount Fuji. We'll have to see what happens, but that's not the only volcano on watch. The Greek Santorini is poised as well with about six of them on watch in Central America. Biggest quake of the day actually made yesterday's news, the six pointer in Kuril Islands. This area could be seeing a ramp up. Gulf of Aden has taken quakes 4.4 in Djibouti two days ago and a 4.4 in Saudi Arabia. Let's eye this area as well. There was significant hailstorm in Northland, New Zealand, a couple five magnitude tremors slightly north of that, even a moderate quake in eastern Australia and up in Indonesia, collided vessels have caused an oil spill. This was September 7th as cold Canadian air rushed in to cool down the United States. Well, the street lights came on and mama called him back home. The cold here will be gone in a few days. Checking rainfall records for yesterday, California and Arizona the only two. Some of the best weather locations in the country, but not yesterday. San Diego got more rain in 85 minutes than it usually does from May to September combined. We're going to watch it here. Keep your eyes on Baja as the ballooning of pop-up storms is clearly evident along the coastline exploding up to Arizona and California. Wonder how the water knows how to follow a line like that and pop up in order. Electromagnetic current. Got another M flare last night, popped out at 11560, turning the western limb. Watch to the left of that though, a small filament eruption moments before the flare may have been the entanglement eruption genesis. Earth is lucky not to take proton storms with a magnetic connection close to this area. It certainly is complex, but leaving the party for now. We got two mild looking spots on the northern central disk in a potential menace turning in on the south. These dark coronal holes are pushing strong solar wind streams that could impact us all week. Mercury is set to conjoin the sun today. That's the news folks. Be safe.